and walking away from the table as well. Uh, bear call spread. Bear call spread is when you are selling one out of the money call and you buy a higher out of the money call. So if XYZ stock is trading at 50 and I sold the 60 call, I would be buying something along the 65 call or the 70 call, a little bit higher, depending on what I want, what kind of risk I wanted to be taking. Of course, this is a strategy where you have limited your risk. It's the, the call that you buy at the higher strike is almost like your stop loss, if you will. So you have created a strategy where you have risk parameters that are defined. The fur, like I said, the further away you go, the more risk you take. The tighter you go, the less risk you take, but also the less premium you're going to receive. So it's a give and take as to how much premium you want and how much risk you want to take. The essentials to success on this are going to be picking the right strike, picking the right direction, picking the right duration, picking the right environment, picking the right underlying again, and knowing your exit strategy before you enter the trade. This also goes into if you see the real contraction in the volatility and you can take your profits quickly, then sometimes it's better to take that money off the table and run. So a bear call spread is income generating. You have defined risk, whereas in the naked call, you don't have any defined risk other than when to pull the trigger and get out. Call spreads are great, especially for the newer trader or the trader that is a little bit more conservative. The bear call spread, also known as the credit call spread, the maximum profit using the bear call spread option strategy is the credit received upon entering the trade. So the credit we receive on any selling strategy or credit strategy is the premium we receive. That's the max profit. The max loss on a call option spread is going to be the strike of the long call minus the strike of the short call and minus the net premium received plus commissions of course but for the most part to keep things simple I'm going to leave out the commissions because everybody's commissions are different so if in my example I sold the 50 call and I bought the 60 call the difference between that is 10 and then 10 minus the net premium received so I may have collected uh, let's just say for purposes four dollars and so my net max loss is going to be six dollars on this trade so I the profit is four dollars and that's my max profit and my max loss would be six dollars the higher strike minus the lower strike minus the net premium received equals our max loss not taking really into account the commissions paid the break-even point is when the underlying is trading equal to the strike price plus the credit we received. So if we, in our example, sold the 50 call, that is our short strike, plus the premium we received, which we said was $4, our break-even point is when the underlying is trading at $54.